Dr. Joan Murphy is the chair of the Task Force on Cervical Cancer Prevention and Control, set up by the Society of Gynecologic Oncologists of Canada. The society helps promote research and raise awareness of gynecological cancers and sets the standards of practice for treating them. NACI is the National Advisory Council on Immunization, and the significance of this statement is that their advice will now become the standard of care as regards HPV immunization in this country. We now call upon the ministries of health across the country to rapidly implement utilization of the vaccine based on these recommendations. The GOC says HPV vaccination will need to be combined with organized screening programs and a vaccine registry to combat Canada's substantial burden due to the human papillomavirus. HPV costs $300 million a year to the health care system and infects three in four Canadians at least once in their lifetime. On average, one woman dies of cervical cancer every day, and four others are diagnosed with it. And although it's not well known, Canada has one of the highest rates of vulvar cancer in the world, also linked to HPV. I think it's fantastic to, to think that medicine now has developed a vaccine to prevent cancer, not to cure cancer, but to prevent cancer. I happen to be a mother of twin girls who are 14 who have not yet had sexual encounters, to, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure of that. And uh, I think that if they could benefit from that vaccine, it would be fantastic for, for, their, for their whole life. For the time being, this new vaccine will not affect pap smear screening recommendations. There are provincial, territorial and professional guidelines in place that should continue to be followed for the present. We think that over time there will be some modifications, but these have to be based on experience and evidence. The GOC is strongly urging the federal and provincial governments to work together to ensure that all girls and women have access to this HPV vaccine, no matter where they live in Canada and regardless of their financial situation. Sherry Demetarko reporting.